like, where are you? Caught you, pink handed. You best not up if you want to survive in this place. Tracy Beaker returns. The brand new series starts today, 5.15 on the CBBC channel. to win. In this game, it pays to hold out and answering a question if you want to get maximum points. And that's something you do want to do, otherwise you'll end up in this, the goo portal. Let's get a little bit more stuff in there. Oh, thank you. Now, as it's a game show, we need plenty of questions, and our computer is chock-a-block full of them. He is the total intelligence mechanism, or as I like to call him, Tim. Tim, how are you doing? When Earth's top scientists invented me, I don't think they had a quiz show in mind. Stop moaning. Now there are three rounds and only one place in the final where one contestant will be competing for a star prize. So, you know the rules? Let's find out who's playing today. Today's team are from Liverpool and our first player is Jack. Hiya, Jack. Hello. How are you doing? Fine. Excited about being here with us on Wait yeah. For It? Yeah. Yeah? What are you most nervous about? Nothing. Nothing? This is a confident fella. I like it. Not even walking out there to the drop zone and no. the goo portal? No. Wow, this guy is unshakable. Well, well, it's nice to see you, Jack. Let's meet our second contestant. This is Katie. Hello, Katie. Hi. How are you doing? I'm great. This is a great outfit you've got going on. <laughs> I like it. Now, I understand that you, you speak a couple of languages. Yeah. What, what can you speak? Um, I can speak French and I can speak a little bit of Spanish. Do you want to give us a blast or something? What would you rather speak? French. Go on, give us something in French. Bonjour et au revoir. All right. Oh, hello, goodbye. Very good. Fantastic. OK. Well, uh, nice to meet you, Katie. Thank OK. You. Let's go and meet uh, player three, who is Adam. Hiya, Adam. Hello. How's it going? Fine. I think that the T-shirt is a good match with a good portal. <laughs> what do you reckon? Uh, yeah. What are you most nervous about playing Wait For It today? Stand on the edge of that and make that fall and be falling in there. Oh, it's not too bad, you know. <laughs> you might even enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, nice to meet you, Adam. Nice Thank to see you. you. Our fourth player is Erin. Hiya, Erin. Hi. I hear you're a good swimmer. Is that right? Yeah. That's something that could come in handy if you make that drop. And you're a bit of a dancer as well. What sort of dancing do you like? Um, my favourite hip hop. Hip hop? Bit of a hip hop till you don't stop. I can do some body. Look at that, eh? How about those? <laughs> Charming. <laughs> Contain yourself, Erin, all right? <laughs> you're hurting my feelings now. All right, well, it's really nice to meet you. Pull yourself together because we're about to play round number one. Now, this one's called Wait For It. Now, every question has a series of clues lasting 15 seconds. The question starts at the same time the clock begins, counting from 0 to 15. You can buzz in at any time, but the longer you wait, the more points you could get. So, for example, you buzz in at 7 seconds, you get the question right, you bag yourself 7 points, yeah? If you get it wrong, everyone else gets 7 points. So, your competition is the clock and the other competitors. Now, there are ten questions in this round, and you've each got three lives. Remember, listen carefully to the clues, and when you think you know the answer, wait for it. Right. First question. Let's have the clues, please, Tim. I am a character from a fairy tale, a Disney film and a pantomime. During the course of my story, you meet a handsome prince, a wicked stepmother, two ugly stepsisters, a pumpkin, a fairy... Ooh, ooh, Jack just beat you to it there, Katie. Jack, what's your answer? Cinderella. Cinderella's correct. Well played. <laughs> ten seconds, which means Jack gets ten points. All right, let's go with question number two, please, Tim. 
We are a girl group who are formed on a TV singing contest. We've had many hits including Sound of the Underground, Love Machine... Ooh, Katie, you weren't going to let anyone beat you then. What's the answer? Girls Aloud. Girls Aloud is absolutely correct. Well played. Good stuff. Eight points, because you stopped the clock at eight seconds. Let's hear question three. I'm something that's found on many parts of your body. I can be seen on all mammals, but you won't find me on fish. On humans, I come in lots of different shapes. Ooh, Erin. Fish. Fish. Oh, legs. Unfortunately, that's wrong. The answer we were looking for was hair. And because you stopped the clock at eight seconds, that means everyone else gets eight points. All right, well, question four. Let's hear it, Tim. I'm a type of beetle. Some people think that it's good luck if I land on them. My wing cases are usually bright red in colour and have black spots on them. Ooh, Jack. A ladybird. Ladybird is the correct answer. Well played. <laughs> Seven points to Jack there. Excellent stuff. OK, this is question five. In my job, I normally wear a uniform. I uphold the law and criminals should be afraid of me. I also help people when they're lost or... Ooh, Police. Erin. Sorry? Police. Police officer, that's absolutely correct. Well played. <laughs> Seven points to you, Erin. We're halfway through. Let's crack on with question six, Tim. I'm a living thing that you find in the sea. You might think of me as a plant, but I don't have roots. I can be used to make food or medicine. Oh, Jack first in. Seaweed. Seaweed is the correct answer. Well played. <laughs> Eight points for Jack. And that's you frozen out of the game now, Jack. You've used up all three lives. This is question number seven. I'm a small furry animal with a long neck and a pointy face. I've starred in some famous cartoon films. In the first... Oh, Is it a giraffe? Giraffe. Is the wrong answer, I'm afraid, Adam. Sorry about that. You came in at six seconds, so everyone else gets six points. The answer we were looking for was Sid the Sloth. Oh. Sid the Sloth from Ice Age. All right, this is question number eight. I come as a pair, but one of me often seems to go missing. I'm made of fabric, perhaps cotton, wool, nylon, or other materials. I can be a variety of colours. Oh, Erin is first. Sorry? Shoes? Isn't the answer, I'm afraid. It was actually socks. You were so close. You stop the clock at 10 seconds, everyone else gets 10 points. Sorry about that, Erin. That was your final life, so you're frozen out of the remainder of the game. This is question number nine. I'm a type of fungus. I look a bit like an umbrella. I grow on the ground in damp, woody areas. I'm often poisonous and can be mistaken. Katie. Is it a mushroom? I'm sorry, Katie, mushroom is the wrong answer. Sorry about that. Came in at eight seconds, so everyone else gets eight points. The answer was toadstool. All right, question number ten. Let's have it, Tim, please. I'm a BBC TV show. You don't have to love cars to enjoy me, but it helps. I feature a man wearing a white helmet who is known only by his nickname, and a celebrity races a reasonably priced car every week. I'm presented by Jeremy Clarkson, James May and Richard. Oh. Oh, just in there, Katie. Just um, in. Stop the clock at 15 seconds. Couldn't be any closer. What's the answer? Um. Oh, oh no! Oh, I'm going to. I'm to... sorry. Time's up, Katie. The answer, I think Jack knew. Top gear. Top gear. Absolutely correct. That was the answer. Unfortunately, because you're frozen out, you don't get any points. But because Katie got the answer incorrect, everyone does get 15 points. That question could have changed everything. But there's only one way to find out. Players, could you leave your play pods and please enter the drop zone? OK. The first person safe and definitely going through to round number two is... Jack! Well played, Jack! Stay where you are for the time being. Second person, definitely coming back to round number two, is... Adam! Yes. Well done, Adam. Oh, little victory dance there. What moves? So the two boys are safe, the two ladies are left. All right. I can reveal the person taking a fall into the goo portal is... 
Katie! Katie is such a shame. We have to say bye bye to you. We'll see you soon. Wait for it. <laughs> Good luck, Katie! Oh, he really was waiting for that. Oh, and the backstroke! Wow, Erin, Katie looked like she was having a great time down there, didn't she? Yeah. What was it like being perched on the end with her there? Nerve-wracking. It is a bit nerve-wracking, isn't it? Congratulations for getting through to the next round. This is round number two. It's called Watch and Wait. It's different to round number one, but it's got the same scoring system. Wherever you stop the clock, that's the number of points you'll get if you get the question right. I'm going to give you a category, and you have to decide how many seconds worth of clues you need to answer the question correctly. You won't hear the clues at that point, you'll just hear this annoying ticking sound. So, for example, you stop the clock at eight seconds, you'll hear eight seconds worth of clues. If you get it right, you get eight points. If you get it wrong, we replay the clues and give your opponents the chance to swipe those points. Once again, you've each got three lives. You guys ready to play? Yeah. yeah. Then let's wait for it. All right. The first category is the big wide world. So, Tim, start the clock. So keep your eye on each other. Keep your eye on the clock. Oh, Adam, stop the clock at eight seconds worth. You're going to hear eight seconds worth of the clue, and then I'll ask you for your answer. I am a place that can be found all over the world. When I'm very clean, I get an award called a blue flag. People flock to me with buckets and spell. Ooh, it's not much, is it? Eight seconds worth. Is it... Uh, I'm going to have to hurry you. Is it a boat? It's not a boat, I'm afraid. That's the wrong answer. We're going to restart the clues, and Jack, Erin, you've got a chance to swipe these points, OK? So let's continue to play the clues. Eight, and with their swimming costumes for summer holidays. <coughs> oh, Jack in there. Water. It's not water, I'm afraid. The answer we were looking for was the beach. It was the oh. beach. I know, I know. Just the first question. This is the second one. The category is food and drink. So let's play the clock, Tim, please. Who's going to wait the longest? <coughs> oh, Jack buzzed in first at 10 seconds. Listen to your clues, Jack. I'm a root vegetable. I can be eaten raw as a snack or as part of a salad or cooked and I'm often eaten with a roast dinner. You can also have cakes made. Ooh, ten seconds worth there. Is that enough? Do you know the answer, Jack? It's a gravy. It's a good guess, but it's the wrong answer, I'm afraid, Jack. OK, we throw this one over to the other guys. Let's continue to play Tim. with me. <coughs> oh, Erin, straight away. Got it. What's the answer? Lettuce. Lettuce is the wrong answer, I'm afraid. Oh, carry. It's what, sorry? Is it a carry? Carrot was the correct answer. That was right, but unfortunately, Erin <laughs> just beat you to the buzzer there, Adam. The third category is creatures. So, Tim, start the clock. How long do you think you'll need? Keep watching one another. Watch the... Oh, Adam, stop the clock at 10 seconds there. Here come your clues. I'm a beast in myth and fable. I'm big and scary. I have wings and a body protected by scales. Big claws on my feet and I breathe fire. So you don't want to get too close to me. I've been seen... I think dragon. he knows. What is what? Is it a dragon? It's the right answer. Well played. <laughs> he stopped the clock at ten seconds means he gets ten points. Excellent work, Adam. OK. The fourth question is general knowledge. So let's play the clock, Tim. <laughs> Aaron buzzed in there at nine seconds. Here come your clues, Aaron. You might get one of me from someone who loves you, or might give one to someone you love. You would probably get one of me from your mom and dad when you go to bed at night. I'm what you do. Aaron, that's nine seconds worth of clues. Do you know the answer? Um, presents. Oh. Presents is the wrong answer. I'm afraid, Aaron. I'm sorry. It's the wrong answer. We throw this one open to the guys. Tim, let's keep playing the question. When you press your lips to someone else's or to their cheek. Adam. 
kiss? It's correct! Well played! <laughs> well swiped there, Adam. So, um, you've got yourself 12 points there, because you stopped at 12 seconds. So, the fifth category is objects. Start the clock, Tim. Who's going to come in first? Her eyes are locked. <coughs> oh, it was Erin. Erin stopped us at eight seconds. Let's have the clues, Tim, please. I'm something that is very useful. I have lots of pockets for you to put things into. I usually have two padded straps. Lots of children. Now, Erin, this is your last life. Jolly box. It's the wrong answer, I'm afraid. That's you frozen out of the rest of the game. Jack, it's all about you. We're going to replay the question, see if you can swipe those points, OK? You should have small ones of me to carry their books to school in. I leave your hands free as I'm worn on your back. I'm sometimes... <coughs> Ooh, held out, held yes. out. Stop the clock at 15 seconds. So, Jack, do you think you know the answer? Is it a bag? I'm afraid it's the wrong answer, oh. Jack. The answer we were looking for was rucksack. That was question five, and as you can see, all of our contestants have used up their lives. Now, the situation is that Erin and Jack are tied at zero points. So, what we've got is a tie-break question. This is just for the two of you to see who goes through to our next round. The category is going to be sport. Tim, could we start the clock, please? <coughs> oh, Jack came in first. Oh, he must feel confident. He stopped the clock at six seconds. You're going to hear six seconds of the clue, Jack. Think carefully and listen closely. I'm a well-known English footballer. I play in the Premier League for Manchester United. I also play... Oh. There's not much clue there at all. What's your answer, please? Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney is the correct yes. answer. Well played, Jack. <laughs> I've got no idea how he got that. You could have pulled any name out of the air, but you managed to get the right one. Well played. That means you've saved yourself. You're definitely going to be in the next round, which unfortunately means we have to say goodbye to Erin. So, Erin, if you could leave your play pod and Bye. take your place in the drop zone. <laughs> Go carefully. <laughs> Are you nervous, Erin? No. You look happy. I know I am. Big smiles, I like it. Bye. We're going to count you in. One. Two. <laughs> See you later, Erin! <laughs> oh, look at that! Backstroke! Backstroke! <laughs> oh, Jack, that was a close one. <laughs> was it fun watching Erin drop in? Yeah. Yeah? Did you enjoy that? Yeah. You meanie. All right. Well, this is our head-to-head -head round. This part of the game tests how well you know your opponent's strengths and weaknesses. Once again, I'm going to give you the question category and you have to predict when you think they'll buzz in with the answer. Now, you've got three time slot options. One to five seconds, six to ten seconds, or eleven to fifteen seconds. Now, of course, the person answering has got no idea what time you've predicted. The points don't match the clock this time, it's the best of five. If you predict correctly and the person buzzes in with the correct answer, in your prediction time slot, you get the point. If they answer correctly outside of that time slot, well, they get the point. So, now it's time to wait and see if you can make the right prediction. All right, so Jack, you've waited the longest over the first two rounds, so you get to decide whether you want to predict first or answer the question first. What would you rather do? Answer the question. Answer the question. OK. So, Adam, that means you'll be predicting. And uh, the first category is sport. Now, don't press a button just yet. I'm just going to talk to Jack about sport. Now, we already know that he's pretty good on football, but do you follow any other sports, Jack? Not really. All right. You're a pal of his, Adam. You know how well he knows sport. Is he bluffing? Does he know a lot about football? He does know a lot about football because, well, he does play it every day. All right, well, you should definitely take that into account when you make your prediction. Make it now for me, please, Adam. 
OK, so, of course, we can all see the prediction. Jack can't. Here come the clues. I am a team sport that is very popular in the USA. I'm played on an indoor court using a ball that's usually orange. Five people from each team can play at any one time. I have a net that stands over three metres tall, and it's called a hoop. Famous players include Michael Jordan... Oh, just in on the 15 seconds there. Jack, what's your answer? Basketball. Basketball is correct. Let's see the prediction. Six to ten seconds. You buzzed in at 15 seconds with the correct answer, which means you get the point, Jack. Well played. <laughs> Nicely answered. OK, the next category is creatures. Now, you're going to be predicting, Jack, but just hold on for a moment. Creatures, Adam, what do you think? How are you at answering questions about creatures? I'm really good at it, I think. You're good at it? Yeah, I like looking at bugs and that. <laughs> All right. Well, Jack, is he bluffing? He says he likes looking at bugs. Make your prediction now, please. OK, there's the prediction. Let's hear the clues, please, Tim. I'm an animal. I appear mainly white, but with a black nose and lips. Where I live is very cold. My children are called cubs. It's difficult to spot me against the snow and ice. I often walk on all fours, but when I stand up, I'm very tall. Ooh, buzzed in at 13 seconds there. What's your answer, Adam? Is it a polar bear? That's correct. Let's see the prediction. 11 to oh. 15 seconds, which means Jack was right. You came in at 13, so Jack gets a second point. Well played, Jack. I know, I know. You were chuffed with yourself, weren't you, because you got the question right, but Jack was able to guess and predict when you were going to come in. But it's not over yet. Adam, you need to get this next point to stay in the game. Now it's your turn to predict. The category is objects. Objects, Jack. I suppose it could be anything, couldn't it? Yeah. Do you know a lot about a lot? Not really. OK. <laughs> is he bluffing, Adam? Choice I is yours. I think so. I do think so. Could you make your prediction, please? That's the prediction. If you get this one, Jack, then you're through to the final. Let's start the clues, Tim, please. I'm a three-letter word that describes cut-and-dried grass or cereal plants. People say that you should make me while the sun shines. I'm used to feed animals such as horses, cattle and sheep. I can be made into bales or into stacks. I begin with the letter H. Out of time oh. there, Jack. Out of Do you know the answer? Yeah. What, what, what were you going to go for? Hey. Hey, that was correct. Oh. But you rang out of time. So no one gets the point, I'm afraid, on that one. So you're still in the running, Adam. OK. We've got two more questions. Jack, are you ready to predict? The category is the big wide world. Adam, what's your geography like? Geography? Yeah. So if it's like a um, country that like close to us, I'm really good at but if I, like miles away, I'm probably no good at it. All right. You've heard that, Jack. Might help you, might not. I'm not sure, but are you ready to make your choice? Yeah. All right, you press a button when you're ready. OK. That's Jack's prediction. Adam, here come your clues. I'm a large country in Europe. I'm famous for winemaking and cooking. And I'm home to a world-famous cycling race where the winner wears a yellow jersey. In at nine seconds, what's your answer, please, Adam? Is it France? France is correct. Let's see the prediction. Six to ten, that's where you came in, which means Jack gets the points. So, Jack, that's three points to you with only one question left. It's impossible for you to catch up, Adam. You know what that means, don't you? Yeah. It's time to leave the play pod and enter the drop zone. All right. Here it comes. See you later, everyone! <laughs> Come on down, Jack. Let's play our final game. Wait a minute. Come and stand here for me, Jack. You're really cool and calm. What was it like seeing your, your pals drop in? Funny. Was it? 
<laughs> you didn't fancy going in yourself? No. No. Good. Good. Well, this is your final challenge, Jack. You're going to hear a series of questions. Now, they're each 10 seconds long. You've got 60 seconds to give me six correct answers and make your way across the goo portal. All right, I'll do it now. Uh, 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 uh. Hey! Well done! Oh, thank you very much, Timothy. That's just a pretty face. Jack, this is important. The longer you take to get across, the better your prize will be. So if you make it over in 40 seconds or more, you'll be taking home one of today's star prizes. Now, there are a couple of rules. You can only move forward when you get a question right. If you get it wrong or you pass, you have to stay where you are until you get the next one correct. And if you don't make it over in 60 seconds, guess where you're going to end up? In there. Exactly, in there. Now, one more twist. Even though you've got 60 seconds, you won't be able to hear or see the clock, all right? Your time starts when I hear your first answer, and you can answer the question at any time. All right, Jack, best of luck. I'm rooting for you. All right, Tim, let's begin. I'm a character from a TV show who has also been in films. I hang around with four people. I'm a dog, a Great Dane to be exact. Me and my pal Shaggy love huge sandwiches. Scooby-Doo. Correct. Move forward. I'm something that some men but very few women have. I'm found on the face and can come in different colours and styles. I'm made of hair. You're most likely to find me on a man's I'm a chin. That's wrong. I'm a place where big sporting events happen and sometimes rock concerts. I usually have large stands on all four sides where spectators can sit to watch the action. Famous examples of me include Wembley and Old Trafford. Stadium. According to Mary Collins, you need a spoonful of sugar to make me easier to swallow. I might come as a liquid or in the form of a pill. I'm used to help ill people get better. I begin with the letter M. Medicine. Next question. Oh, correct. Move I'm a forward. very large bird. I'm often seen pictured on flags and coats of arms. I'm big and fierce, with talons and a powerful beak. Is it legal? Types include... Correct, move forward. I'm an animated film about a family of superheroes. Like lots of families, we have a Mr and Mrs. And the youngest of our three children is Jack-Jack. We have to use our superpowers. Right, move forward. I'm a famous... Oh, we know what that means. Help me out, audience. Three, two, one. Mate, you won't be going home empty-handed. You get to take away one of our intergalactic space bouncers. Jack, everyone! <laughs> what another super-duper game. Join us next time here on Wait For It. I'm dead happy that I got to the final round because I beat all of my friends. <laughs> Well, I hit the gun just felt, uh, felt all nice and uh, slimy. I thought it was brilliant! Hello, welcome back to this CBBC office, and more importantly, Eden Hacker's Lab Lab! Yes, <laughs> today we're carrying out an experiment. That yeah. experiment is to find out the effects of thinking caps Perfect. upon a person. Hack the dog, what do they make happen? They make you pull a funny face like this. <laughs> Bit of experiment there by Dr. Hacker. <laughs> and you lot at home been getting involved. We've got one here from Dr. Catherine. Dr. Catherine there had a little ponder with her turkey head on. <laughs> mm. Yes, <laughs> left of her turkey from Christmas, perhaps. Ah, with pictures. Yes, so I think she's having sort of, what do you think, Dr. Hacker? A bit of a ponder there? Yeah, I like ponder. I like ponder there, Dr. Yeah. Catherine. Yeah. And on you go on the, oh, go. it's not securely, oh, we should have probably looked into that earlier yeah. on. Anyway, we've got another one here from Dr. Tara. Look at Dr. Tara there. That's she, a nice hat, hey, look, Ian. What? Tim, what? Tim, wait for it. She's watching, wait for it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she was. It was on earlier on. There's Pete Furman there and his little face. Hey, what's it like? And his big hair. Massive hair. Uh, I think Dr. Tara's, what do you think, Dr. Hacker? A bit of a oh. think? Yeah, my